All right, guys, what's going on? Back with some more God of War. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. Um, just wanted to thank you guys, man, for just watching the videos and uh, just you know, yeah, just you know, just supporting, man. It really means a lot. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's continue. Um. All right, what does it say? Work. What's our goal? Um, Mermaid is going to help us get there to peak in Jonheim. All right, that's it. Turn to the serpent. So, Mamir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mamir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. He can't tell us what's Baldur's weakness. Something... I think it's like a spell they put on him. Mamir, we're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally, that horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. you made in honor of Thor, and seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your name. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You know, envy me. I've still got it, lads. He remembers me. Why, you? direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. 
it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Ah, that. He thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Hmm. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. A new destination. Follow Mermere's instructions to the chisel. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. And exploring does sound dope. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. I'm gonna go check this out real quick. Right? I know the good thing. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. Check this out real quick. Here's some here's something. Oh, what is this? I think I think I can do this. Beat this. I, I, I know I am. Focus up, boy. Oh, go, go, go. Yeah. 
seen one of those before. They look like they walk straight out of here. Alright, that's the rounds. Oof, man. Alright. Uh, we can go up here. Something over here? Hey, it's a fragment of a language sign. We should look for more like this. That's that's where we get the gear from. Yo, what's in here? Oh, ah, Fafnir. I always wondered what became of him. Wait. Fafnir? Like, Fafnir Storm Fafnir? The very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was, and now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads. I don't know if I should do this right now. Let's go ahead and do it. I mean, we need the gear. And then we... How did your friend become a dragon in here? Oh, he's no friend of mine. Look, his throat was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. A greedy little dwarf come back. Wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Vanir goddess. I don't remember if there's like three total dragons or I don't know if it's just two. I might do all of them. Oh. <laughs>
to the dwarves. Time to set him free. Think he'll remember you? I don't know, lad. A lot's changed since we last crossed paths. I have legs. Hm. Right, there's another chest in there. We'll come back. <laughs> You wee little bugger. Well, I think Dragon hasn't done much for his personality. Oh, this is rare enchantment. Fly it up fast. Oh, okay, so there is three dragons. Mm. Wow, well, really? I can't get that right there. Um, is there another way to get over here? Oh, here we go. Did I pass something? Else? That's everything here. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. All right, let's, let's uh, keep on. Check out that island over there. I kind of want to. It's so like. I, I already know this guy's gonna come alive. Nightmares! Uh, what awful pain! Where's 
that? There you go. Boy. Yes, sir. It's another one of those maps. Another map. This guy, does this guy come alive? No, he doesn't. I don't think he does. Alright. It's over here. Man, it's so tempting to... It's so hard not to explore. Ooh. Sindri. Sindri are a problem. I have a favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. Do you remember the dagger you gave me? The dagger stabbed him to the reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone that I could use to help you. <laughs> Another treasure hunt? Pointless. Well, not if Sindri really can make us better equipment with that whetstone. Plus, the Reaver's son. He murdered his father. Let's get to it. Talon Bull. Well, we have more Talon Bull upgrades. Look at this. Dwarven Runic Paldron. Looks pretty dope. Um, uh, look at these though. What kind of wrist armor we got? Um, we got some pretty good stuff. Gauntlets of fallen ash, smoldering ember. Searcher's flame. Oh, I might give me some chest. I might give me some. This looks really good right here. I think smoldering ember probably has to go to Muspelheim for that. Uh... I don't suppose you could. Try. What? No. No. Just a. It was a question. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. The other one right here, more dwarven. Um, damn, it's a lot though. All right, I'm gonna grab me this and then I'll hold off for this. What? Oh, this is that, like, the ultimate we have. Not the ultimate, but, um, the runic attack. What else was there? Alright. Uh, you know what? Let, let's continue with the main story for now. And later on, we'll come back. We'll come back and, uh, do these other ones. I just wanted to get some gear, some little uh, better gear for now, just because man, some of these enemies are they're tanky and I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to be struggling. All right. Last we were in a boat, you had just started the story. What did you want to tell me about the Long War? Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. 
but the Vanier have proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Or I can just tell you the story later. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. Recover Gulvig's bones. They've taken three of sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Give her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to mom again. If we keep an eye out, look while if we... you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. All right. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> There was a giant once named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Famu or hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Rimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Famur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together.
of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Survivors. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Yo, Thor must be like a real brutal guy in this, you know, this world. The way they talk about him is. There he is. It's great. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Enemies. Yes. I'm Dermar. An all fine light crystal. Wonder what it's for. <laughs> Enchantment increases resistance to frost. Bracer is more. Let's uh, grab all this. Grab all this money. Right. Hey, how did roll trees that? That's Andy. Yes. Here's the base for the crystal we saw, but how do we get it down? What this? Good. 
and you read it. Sir. To Njord, we offer back the sea's bounty. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. So we have that one. Right. Atreus to me. Mark of the Ranger Legendary Champion increases damage of all extras by 6%. I might have to grab that. Hold on. Um, Alright, this is the one we have right here. Um, increases damage of IX by 6%. Um, defense. Moderate perk activation chance to grant blessing of runic. Uh, I think I want this one. Mark of the Ranger. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep that. I think that's all the little chests and all that we got here. Should be good to continue. Ready yourself, boy. Keep it up. Getting down there. I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother. But I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Hmm. Boy. Ready. Yeah! 
I mean, I blocked first. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Alright. Alright, find a way to the hammer. Um, Alright guys, uh, I think we're going to end the video here. And I uh, just wanted to thank you guys again for, uh, you know, just watching the videos. And um, yeah, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Y'all guys take care.